Hey everyone, it's Gina, and today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of alternatives to Diva Curl products. If you guys have been around on social media within the past couple weeks, the whole Diva Curl scandal has really blown up across social media. If you haven't already seen, a lot of bigger influencers have come out with stories saying how Diva Curl has really hurt their hair and been damaging their hair for a while now. If you guys have followed my channel for a while, you know that I have used a lot of Diva Curl products in the past. They're definitely one of my favorite hair care brands or have been one of my favorite hair care brands. And I currently have not been using Diva Curl since I found out about this, which was about two weeks ago. Um, but I wanted to keep this video just very positive and mostly about product alternatives because my DMs have been flooded with questions from you guys on what products can we use now if we're not going to be using Diva. I test out tons of different stuff so I've personally never experienced any side effects. I'm really saddened though to hear that a lot of people have. I know I have recommended their products a lot on my channel because they have been a brand that I have loved for a very long time and unfortunately for like influencers and curly hair bloggers and stuff it really sucks for us to have recommended products that could potentially have harmed your hair but there was no way for us to have ever have known that and it sucks that when something like this happens to a brand then you know it just affects all of us and it's really unfortunate so um, but I wanted to keep this video you know positive and give you guys a solution um, with me I really like to just try to think of what can we do from here and how can we make it better so I went through my product collection went through my entire stash read ingredient labels for hours and tried to find very similar products to recommend to you guys so I hope this is helpful for you this timing is actually interesting because I had been planning on doing a diva curl dupes video anyways because as part of the curl Curly Hair Care for Beginners playlist, which is a series I have on my channel where I teach you guys all the basics about how to take care of your curly hair, and I break it down in really simple, easy to follow steps. And as part of that series, I was going to start featuring a lot more products, um, but I know this has been a long intro, but I just wanted to kind of share with you guys kind of my thought. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into the products. I know you guys are here to see the alternatives that I recommend, so let's go ahead and get started. So one of the two most common products that everybody loves and has used for a long time is the no poo in the one condition. Now, now these were products that I would kind of rotate maybe once a week or every couple of washes because I like to use a regular like um, sudsing shampoo or one that actually lathers up. But during the week when I do a quick wash is when I was using no poo, but I wasn't using it consistently because I was testing other lines and stuff. Um, but some alternatives to the no poo and actually alternatives to all of this is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line. And I'm sure you guys have heard a lot of people talk about the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line because it's a great beginner starter pack. Um, I actually recommended my sister try these out because I actually got her hooked onto Diva Curl too. When I was telling her that she should stop using the Diva Curl products for now because of all the issues going on, I told her to check out the Not Your Mother's line and she was really excited to see that it is affordable. These are only eight, seven or eight dollars, I think, at Target, Ulta. Um, but this is the Curl Talk 3-in-1 conditioner. This is actually a dupe, I think, for the um, one condition as well. Um, but the reason I'm talking about this with the no poo is because this can actually be used as a co-wash. So if you are somebody that likes to only co-wash your hair, you could use this. Um, so I did start kind of comparing the different ingredients on all of these products. A lot of them have ingredients that are the same across these dupes that I found, but some of them have similar ingredients that do a similar type of thing. Um, and it got really sciencey once I started digging into it. So I thought I would list out some ingredients that are similar between each of these that I'm gonna be talking about on the blog post that goes with this video, which will be linked down below where I list out all the products and I'll kind of explain the ingredients that are similar. Um, I think it's really just important to be you know, a conscious consumer and really look into your products that you're buying, read the labels, research the ingredients so you know what you're putting on your hair. And so I just wanted to pop in with a little disclaimer that if you were trying to go all natural for your products and you're trying to avoid any possible chemicals in your products, then I recommend researching each brand before you actually decide to check these out. For example, the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line does have phenoxanol. I can never say that one, but it does have that ingredient in it, which is a very common preservative that's used in tons of hair products. Um, it also has fragrance in it. So if you're trying to avoid those ingredients and go all natural, then you want to skip the Curl Talk line. I didn't specifically look for 
um, preservatives in these products. I was really just trying to find products that I know are almost exact dupes to the Diva Curl one. So I just wanted to throw that in there. If you're trying to go all natural, make sure you do your research and check before you get any of these. Some of the um, ingredients that make no poo like an actual um, cleanser is the Loris 4 in it. One of these that's on here that is known to be a really gentle surfactant, so it's going to actually cleanse the hair. And I do like the amount of lather that I get with this. It feels like a conditioner when you first apply it, but once you kind of scrub your scalp underneath the water, you do get a little bit of a lather, which is why I like this. I also love the shampoo. This has probably been my favorite shampoo lately that I've been using every single week. I used it this morning on my hair. I love it so much. It doesn't strip your hair. It's a really great lather. It gets everything. It gets oils off, like I did an oil treatment this morning and then wash it off with this and it got everything and my scalp feels so clean. I think it's great having both of these as an option because like I said, I like to use the shampoo on the weekend and then during the week I like to use a co-wash and I also use this as a conditioner. It is three in one so it can be used as a leave-in, a rinse out or a co-wash. So if you like the leave-in conditioner, you can also use this. So you can save a lot of money by doubling up your products like that. Then sticking with the cleansers, I don't have the um, Diva Curl Build Up Buster on hand because I had finished it a while ago and I didn't repurchase it. But I do have the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. And originally today's video was supposed to be a full review of the Wash Day Delight, but because of everything going on, I wanted to get this video up for you guys. But stay tuned till next Sunday. I will have a video review up on this product and you can see it in action in the shower. This is such a great product at removing a buildup. This is like I said, from Carol's Daughter. It's a great natural brand. Not everything is Curly Girl Method approved from them, but this one is. It has no sulfates or silicones and it works really well to remove buildup. It's very important to be removing buildup if you are following the Curly Girl Method. But this product has that micellar water technology for cleansing, just like the Diva Curl. I saw this and I knew I had to try it out. I ordered mine on Amazon. Um, but the ingredients, I go over these ingredients in detail in the video that you'll see next week, but it has some really great ingredients that are good for your hair in all kind of different ways. Then for deep conditioners, this is kind of a hard one because one of my favorite deep conditioners from Diva Curl was the Deep Sea Repair. My hair really likes protein treatments. It is higher porosity, so I really enjoyed this before I stopped using it. Um, but I have been using this one from Shea Moisture. I just have a sample packet. Um, this has lasted me forever. I picked this up at Target for like five bucks, but they have a bigger version in a tub. But this is the Manuka Honey and Refer Oil Intensive Hydration Treatment Mask. So this does have the same type of protein ingredients in it. This does have shea butter in it. And just looking at some of the ingredients, the main protein ingredient is that hydrolyzed wheat protein. This also has hydrolyzed rice protein. So it does have some similar ingredients to it. This one I actually might like better though because it's a lot thicker and more moisturizing. Um, I don't know, I definitely think this is a great option. It's cheaper, so I would definitely be just purchasing this one. It makes my hair really defined and stuff and shiny after I use it. I didn't use it today because I went with a moisturizing based um, deep conditioner versus a protein one, but that is a great protein one. The next deep conditioner is the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture. This is one that I was using a lot to. I actually have two full size ones of these that I haven't opened yet. Um, this is just a moisturizing mask, so I don't think it has any protein in it. It's just mostly for moisture. I recommend deep conditioning once a week. I do have a video all about how to deep condition. I'm pretty sure I probably mentioned this one in that video. Um, but today, this is actually what I use. This is from Mish Beauty. It's M-I-C-H-E. This is a newer brand that I've recently been testing out. Everything is silicone sulfate free. This is the Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. They also have a protein one, but this is the moisturizing one. So that's why I wanted to kind of compare it to the Diva Curl one. But in looking at the ingredients, this one has honey and baba basu oil. Um, I probably said that wrong, but the ingredients are different in terms of what the moisturizing ingredients are, but overall they do the same thing for me. They just give my hair a lot of good moisture when I don't want to do a protein treatment. Now we're going to get into styling products. So I have Wave Maker Styling Cream and Super Cream, as well as the Light Defining Gel and the Ultra Defining Gel. So I wanted to kind of focus on the products that I know mostly everyone uses just so this video doesn't get too long. Um, but I do, if you use other Diva Curl products, I likely have tried them, so you can let me know in the comments and I will try to suggest to you some alternatives. Um, but these are the ones that I heard the most from you guys when I asked what do you mostly use from Diva Curl. So the first one is the Wave Maker, which is meant for waves or lighter curls. This is their lightest styler that they have. Um, I was looking at the different ingredients and really trying to research them. And the main difference with this one is, I believe it has that hydrolyzed vegetable oil in 
in it and I don't think it has that coconut oil in it which is a little bit more heavy and the coconut oil is what the super cream has so this one is just more designed to be for lighter um, curl types and more of waves versus like kinky thicker coils um, so this is the not your mother's curl talk defining cream again from that not your mother's line I really enjoy this cream this is actually almost out um, I have fine hair so mine tends to do better with like medium creams because it is high porosity um, but sometimes I use lighter creams like this so the ingredients are not exactly the same in these but they give me similar results and that's why I wanted to mention them but this cream is one that I like to recommend to everyone because I think it would work with any curl type really because it has a little bit of a hold to it. Like after I use it, um, I can tell like if I just air dry or something, it has a little bit of a hold, which is really nice. It has rice curl complex in it. So this does have um, rice and keratin amino acids in it. So if you are really sensitive to protein, this might not work, but I know a lot of people enjoy it. Even people with wavy hair really enjoy it. So I think give it a try and it's affordable. So now the styling cream. This was my favorite styler before from Diva Curls. So this one is not as heavy as the super cream. So this one is designed for most curl types, but specifically curly hair um, because it is not as heavy as the super cream. Um, the main ingredient I think in this one is again that hydrolyzed hoba hoba protein. Um, so it does have that protein in it, tapioca starch. But I have been using this one from Amika. If you guys saw my last video that I did on how to create curl clumps, I will link it down below. I used this with one of the gels I'm gonna show you and I get such great results. It's definitely my new favorite combo. I actually like this cream better. Yes, I said it. <laughs> I like this cream better than this one. I have recently rediscovered this cream. I used this a long time ago. I think it was like a year ago and I ran out of it and I just never repurchased because it is pricey. Um, but I finally broke down and just repurchased it because I'm like, this is the only one that I have just been like, this is even better than styling cream. And no surprise, I compared the ingredients. They are almost identical. Like I read the first few and I'm like, what? It's like the same thing. It starts off with water, cetaryl alcohol, glycerin, um, betrimonium chloride, tapioca starch. And I'm like looking back and forth, it reads off exactly the same into like the fourth or fifth one down and there's a few differences, but it does have that hydrolyzed wheat protein and hydrolyzed hoba hoba protein. And since I have high porosity hair, I think that's why my curls really like this. And the one thing about this that I love compared to this is I get a lot chunkier curls. Like I get better curl clumps when I use this. So I can't believe how similar these are. It's really crazy. Um, it's a similar, texture and that it's a medium type of cream. It's not too heavy and it's not really light like the Wave Maker or the Curl Top Cream. It's a little bit heavier so it's a lot more moisturizing for my hair. I find that the Curl Top Cream, it gives me light moisture but it's not near as moisturizing as something like this. I did want to quickly talk about the Diva Curl Be Leave In because this used to be one of my favorite products that I cannot find a dupe for and I'm so sorry that I don't have a dupe to throw in here for you guys for this because this is the number one product that you guys were asking me if I have a dupe for. It's so unique from Diva Curl that it sucks that I can't find a dupe for it, but some of the ingredients that are in this that help create those plump voluminous curls are also in this cream. So I still find that I get really great curl clumps when using this, which is why I chose to use it in that video that I did on how to create clumps. So I'm still getting similar and if not even better results when using this and not using the Believe In anymore. Another one I wanted to throw in here is from Naughty. This one is an underrated brand that I never hear people talk about. You can find this at Ulta or on their website. Um, this is the Wave Hello Curl Defining Taming Cream. I'm almost out of this one as well. I really like it. It definitely um, is very comparable to this one. This has sea kelp and mango butter in it. It's really moisturizing. I would say that this one, I don't wanna say it's heavier, but it's very similar to this. Um, I get great results when I use both of these. Um, this one has similar ingredients in it, like glycerin, that's really moisturizing for the hair. Um, it also has the wheat protein in it. Um, some different type of ingredients that are really moisturizing. So this is another option to try. I think it's a good, a cheaper alternative to the Amica one. I don't know the price of this off the top of my head, but I know it is a little bit cheaper. Next up is the Diva Curl Super Cream. And a lot of people with tighter coils like this one because it is a little bit heavier and more moisturizing because it has coconut in it. And that's the main difference with these is this one does have coconut oil as the third ingredient, which makes it a little bit heavier. I was trying to find a styling cream in my collection that had coconut oil. The only one I could find was this one from Garnier Fructis. This is the Curl Treat 
uh, smoothy, defining for fine to normal hair. They also have one that's even thicker than this. I don't have it on hand, but they have um, a couple different stylers in this line. This is sulfate and silicone free, which is great, um, but this one does have coconut in it. It has um, coconut oil a little bit lower down and avocado oil in it so it might not be as heavy as the styling cream I mean as the super cream when I use this though I have to use it very very sparingly because like I said I do have fine hair so it can get way down so I just have to use a tiny bit of this um, but this is a good alternative I think and it's a fraction of the price. Next up is the Light Defining Gel from Diva Curl. This is a lot of y'all's favorite that I heard from you. And the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel is definitely a very close dupe. Um, the main ingredient uh, being glycerin and then hydronated castor oil, hydrolyzed wheat protein, hydrolyzed corn protein. Almost all of those are in here. I think it has the hydrolyzed uh, castor oil. It doesn't have the hydrolyzed corn protein. Um, but it has very similar ingredients in it. It has keratin amino acids in it. So this is a lighter hold gel. It says firm hold or flexible to firm hold. It says level three. I don't find that this has enough hold for me, but I recommend it to anybody that likes a lighter hold or maybe they have a lighter curl pattern than mine or they have wavy hair. I highly recommend checking this out. Like I said, if you were to get the full Not Your Mother's line, you could combine these two together. Or you could also check out the Not Your Mother's Mousse. That one has a stronger hold and that's definitely one of my favorite styling products. So I highly recommend that one as well. I would use the mousse over the gel because I like a harder like crunch to my hair. Um, but this is definitely almost an exact dupe to the light defining gel. Last but not least is the ultra defining gel. Now I wish I had the curl maker gel on hand but I had actually used that up so I don't have that on hand to compare ingredients to. Um, but that one I did like better than the ultra defining gel. This one was more drying for my hair. Um, I didn't like my results as much when I used this. I definitely had to layer cream underneath or else my hair felt too dry when I was using this. Um, but I wanted to kind of just go through the ingredients because I noticed after looking through this, there's pretty much not really any ingredients that are as moisturizing on the hair. Like I don't see any coconut oil or I don't see any shea butter or anything like that. It's mostly all protein ingredients like hydrolyzed wheat protein, corn protein, soy protein. Just has a ton of different proteins. There's some extracts and stuff in here and does have glycerin. Um, but this is definitely one of their stronger hold gels. I don't think it's as strong as the Archangel gel. Um, but I know a lot of people like this and since we're not using it anymore, um, I did want to give you guys some alternatives of some of my favorite gels. Um, and again, I was trying to compare the ingredients but it's hard to find a gel that has that much protein to really get an exact similar dupe. But these are some of my favorites that I wanted to throw out. This is a cheaper alternative. This is from Dippity Doo, the girls with curls. This is not as much of a natural brand. Like when I read the ingredients, it's not as natural based. but. It does have aloe in it, which is really moisturizing, so I can definitely use these by themselves. Whereas the Ultra Defining Gel, I can never use it by itself because it never gave my hair enough moisture, and since I have high porosity hair, it's pretty dry, so I definitely need to layer something underneath when I used that before. Um, but this one I can use by itself. Um, it's a really great stronghold gel. This is the type of stronghold gel um, that I can scrunch it out and I have like a soft hold to my hair and it's not too crunchy, um, but I still have good hold and it will last several days. And that's kind of how the ultra defining gel was. Like I could get a pretty good amount of um, crunch to my hair and then I could shake it out and it wouldn't feel too hard, which is what this does. So that's why I wanted to throw it in. And a higher end brand that I really love a lot of their stuff is We Dad. This is the Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. This is the stronger hold version. So if you were previously using the Archangel Gel that was a stronger hold from Diva Curl, you might wanna check this one out if you live in a humid environment or if you have a lot of trouble with frizz when it comes to weather. Definitely really like this one and um, the ingredients are definitely not the same or anything, although it does have the wheat protein in it. Um, it also has glycerin in it, but it does have other ingredients that help protect from the humidity. So the glycerin in this doesn't bother me um, in the summer, but some really great extracts in here and a lot of good stuff that helps protect your hair from the elements. So it's a watery consistency, so it works really great for my hair type that's more fine because um, it doesn't weigh my hair down and I can use it with creams, I can use it by itself. Definitely one of my favorite gels.
So those were the main products that you guys said that you used to use from Diva Curl or used to be some of your favorites and you wanted some alternatives. If I missed any, if there was any products that you use from Diva Curl that you want to know some alternatives to, definitely let me know in the comments down below and I will get back to all of you and give you some suggestions. I also have an Amazon store in the description box down below. I try to keep that up to date all the time with any products that I'm loving. So you can always check that out. I also have skincare and everything else on there, hair tools, just any products that pretty much have my sign off or on that page. So you can always check that to see what I'm currently using and some other product recommendations because there's definitely some other ones that I really like that were not in this video. So that is it for all these products. I'm sorry if it got too long. And if you are someone that has suffered from damage to your hair or scalp issues from Diva Curl, I'm so sorry that you are going through that. And if you want to chat with me, you can definitely DM me on Instagram or just leave a comment down below. If you have any suggestions for alternatives or dupes that you have found, definitely let everyone else know in the comments so they can get some more product suggestions. But I hope I can help you out in your curly hair journey and hopefully find you some products that will work good for you. I also have a video all about how to find the right curly hair products. I think it's pretty essential to check out that one first because I go into detail about the different curl types as well as porosities, um, density, climate, all kind of different stuff. So if you want to know how to pick your own products, definitely check out that video. If you've not already subscribed yet to my channel, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. If you like really easy to follow stuff and you like things kind of broken down in simple terms, then hopefully you will enjoy my channel. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you back next week. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.